chicken strips. I'm gonna coat them with my favorite potato chips. And I'm using a chip that it has a lot of flavors in it, but it's mainly like a tangy barbecue. And it's gonna taste really, really great with this honey mustard dip I'm making. So I've cut up four chicken breasts into strips before I dredge it. I wanna, of course, salt the chicken. And some pepper. One cup of flour into this baking dish. I'm gonna crack three eggs in the bowl right here. Give this a whisk. So I've crushed these chips right in the bag. So I'm gonna season the flour as well. Two teaspoons of salt, about a teaspoon of pepper, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of ground mustard. I decided to use ground mustard because I'm making a honey mustard sauce, so I kind of want that flavor in both the chicken and the dip. And one teaspoon of paprika. Let's get started. Take a strip, mix it around the flour, dip it in the egg, and directly into the chips. That flour and egg is gonna make sure that everything sticks. So when it bakes, it's gonna be super crunchy and it's gonna taste like I fried them. Being an auntie is really, really cool, especially like the aunties that don't have any children. It's like, you get to have all the fun and then send them back home. <laughs> I really do love kids. A lot of people don't know, but I went to college for child psychology and I worked with children for many, many years before cooking became a full-time thing. And I just, I don't know what it is, just something about kids just really brings, it brings joy to my heart. I love their innocence, I love their energy, and honestly, I'm a big kid. <laughs> Parents, this is not just for kids. Aunties, uncles, you can make this for yourself. Kids will really enjoy it, but adults will really enjoy it too. All right, oven set to 450. I'm gonna check it after 10 minutes, then flip it. Now I'm gonna make the dip, lots of honey. I'm gonna use some yellow mustard. That yellow mustard is gonna give you that tangy, classic mustard flavor. I'm gonna use some Dijon. I'm also using stone ground Dijon, and that's gonna give it a little texture, little whole grain seeds. I would say about five tablespoons of mayo. That's gonna make it creamy. Garlic powder, because I love garlic. Salt and pepper. You can use this on anything. You can use it on your sandwiches, you can use it on a burger. You can dip some french fries in this. Mm. Let me check on those chicken strips. They are ready to be flipped. Mm -hmm. Look how pretty those are. I can tell it's nice and crispy, I can hear it. So I'm flipping it to make sure that both sides get crispy. These look amazing and they smell even better. All right, my chicken strips are done. Ooh, they are gorgeous. They're nice and brown and golden. Wait till the kids get their hands on these. What do you guys think? Love it. Thumbs up. <laughs> on a scale of one to 100, what do you give those chicken fingers? 100. Yay! <laughs> <laughs>